we've had a lot of different types of traffic in our day, but never camels. Share the road, buddy. These camels, they just think they own the road here in Oman. They give you such attitude. Good morning, adventurers. Hello. It's another day here in the desert, the deserts of Oman. If you caught our previous video, we actually crossed the actual desert, Wahiba Sands. We went from north to south on in this 4x4 car. It was amazing. One of yeah. the coolest experiences we've ever done. I think Eric was the most excited he's been in a while. I was and in my happy place on Also the most terrified. It was scary been. too. Yeah. <laughs> but today we are going to be going off the road. We're, uh, once again, we're going to be doing some wild camping. So here in Oman, that's one of the popular things to do because it's perfectly legal to just drive off into the desert find a spot you like, stop, and camp. You can do it all over the country. Yep. So we stayed in a hotel overnight just to get a little freshened up because we had been camping <laughs> like, the last couple days. We actually took two showers yeah. while we were there. We had sand everywhere. Yeah, so much sand. <laughs> we have a couple campsites scouted out. There's one that's about an hour south that is just off into the dunes that we might check out. And if we're feeling a little bit more frisky, there's one even further south where we have to drive through a lot more of the dunes to get to. We'll have to like deflate our tires and do a lot of off-roading again. So we're trying to decide how risky we want to be today. Yeah, because you can get stuck out there, you but... You can get stuck. And I don't know that we're pros yet at getting <laughs> unstuck. I think it's worse than before. We actually have a rooftop tent. We're going to show you guys how that works. And we're just going to take you guys along with us on our little wild camping adventure. All right, cue desert b-roll and camels and cool drone stuff. Yeah. Well guys, we have decided to take the more rugged route. So we've been driving on this road Nice blacktop for a long time, and then we turned down this. And this is what we're gonna be driving on for the next 30 kilometers or so. Yeah, but I mean, it looks pretty yeah. rad so far. It's, this is actually really scary. nice compared to what we were driving on in the dunes, so yeah. yeah. Although they're supposed to be white sugar dunes, that's where they get their name from, and we're not seeing anything white nope, so far. Yet. Hopefully, maybe in 10 miles that way. We'll see. It'll turn white. We are actually doing this through Nomad Tours. They set us up with this awesome vehicle. Oh, yeah. No mentors. Yeah. <laughs> Can't recommend them enough. We are having an absolute blast. All the information for booking your trip is going to be in the description below. But they actually sat down with us and helped us plan our route and they showed us this guidebook that they had. They basically just gave us GPS coordinates for this turnout right here. Yep. This road isn't on Google and the next 30 kilometers aren't on Google. <laughs> so we're just going by the screen or the photo I took of the guidebook. So I said this way is a lesser known route. You shouldn't get stuck, which we really like. So yeah. we'll see. We'll put it to the test. If we stay on this road long enough, we should be getting to the water, which is where we're hoping to camp tonight. But it's hard to tell, even though it's so flat out here, you can't see very far. I don't know if it's windy in some spots and kicking up some of the sand. Yeah, and it really is like a mirage off in the distance. Mm -hmm. The heat, I guess, creates this warping effect that makes it look like there's a bunch of water, but then the closer you get, it disappears. It's a very interesting effect. We have made it to the ocean. It is a nice sight after nothing but sand. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because we saw this like dark gray off in the distance. It looked a bit ominous. And I think maybe it was just the water reflecting off the sky. Yeah. Coincidentally, we were just here at the same time as another couple who rented from Nomad Tours, a French couple. So we were just mm -hmm. chilling out there, talking with them, oh, talking they, about their route. They were smart though. They had the actual book. This yeah. is amazing. We just have book. a photo of the yeah. book. <laughs> so we were looking at his as a little cheat sheet to see if maybe we can get on the right yeah. track. Cause I guess we missed the road we were supposed to be on. So now we have to backtrack and figure it out. Well, we'll get there. Yeah. Theoretically, we can stop anywhere. So right. the minute we see a spot we like, that's where we're camping mm -hmm. for the night. There's this really shady bridge right here that we don't quite trust. So I think we're just gonna, you can kind of just go in the dirt over there. So I think that's what we're gonna do. That's why we got four wheel drive, y'all. All right. We don't need no stinking bridges. To our home right. for the night. <laughs> this is our land. This is our kingdom, if you will. In the sugar dunes. Kingdom of 
sugar. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. The Beeler kingdom. Name needs work. These beautiful white dunes are known as the sugar dunes. It's a stark contrast between the dunes that we were driving through and 4 x 4 through in Wahiba Sands. Mm -hmm. But we found this really awesome spot where we have the dunes to this side and then we've got the ocean out to that side. Mm -hmm. It's breezy, but the wind isn't full of sand like oh it has been at all of our other spots. Yeah, so we can stand out here and actually have our eyes open for oh, once. So and we're nice. not eating sand. We have a couple hours until sunset. Mm -hmm. We are going to pop our tent up and then start cooking dinner. Yeah, I'm excited for you guys to see this whole process because it's pretty awesome yeah so this is a rooftop tent it's really simple it's just this metal frame that's affixed to the top rack of the car you can see that it's just kind of bolted on and they installed this for us at uh, nomad tours before we took it out and then this thing is absolutely incredible all you do is take off these buckles here it can be a little awkward but it's basically as easy as this arise tent that's our room for the night and then we have this handy ladder that we pull out. Okay. Oh, lots of sand up in there. Oh, geez. Okay, like that. I think I'm doing this right. Yeah, just like butter. You're nailing it. So the tent gets a little caught up there sometimes. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Just got to give it a little TLC. Okay. I'm seeing the makings of a tent up there. <laughs> this ladder's a little weird though. I haven't quite figured this thing out. So, or actually, I think you start from the top and then these rungs should, oh, like that, there we go. And then you just kind of get the ladder to the level you want. Is that the level I want? I don't know. A little bit lower, there you go. The ladder is the hardest part, honestly. It's hard to get it to the exact spot that you want. Something seems a little fishy up here, but <laughs> <laughs> it'll probably work. I'll let you go up at first, how's that? Yeah, it's a little scary if you don't do the ladder right. Okay. A little scary. Okay. Ta-da! Tent installed. Installed? Is that what you say? What do you say? Pitched. This tent has been pitched. The tent is all set up. Now let's go take a peek inside. Come on in! How the heck did you get up there? <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. Welcome to our tent home. As you can see, it's a super spacious open floor plan. I like to call it a studio. Yeah, a little studio apartment. You got your mattress and your tent walls. <laughs> That's it. And there you go. Now you've had the full tour. Come on up. But there is a surprising amount of room in here. And when you're mm -hmm. sleeping up here, you completely forget that you're on top of a car. Yes. And so you can zip yourself in at night if it's breezy, which it has been breezy every night. Oh, yeah. But if you don't want that and you're okay with a little wind, you can open the sides. You can even Ta -da! open this and have a little sunroof, moonroof, So you can watch roof. the stars at night. Yeah. We might do that tonight because there should be very little light pollution. Yeah, that's I'm super excited because we've kind of been camping close-ish to towns the last few times we've done it. So we haven't seen too many stars, but I think tonight is going to be a sky full <laughs> of stars because that's where they live. <laughs> All right, after a grueling five minutes of putting the tent up, it's now time to make dinner because we are starving. Let's do it. Let's get this camp set up, y'all. Well, we had a little bit of an issue. We set up the car facing this way and everything because we thought we could get a better thumbnail, honestly. <laughs> but <laughs> it's hard to cook on this yeah, angle. Yeah, we didn't realize quite how breezy it was because it's definitely way less windy than it has been our other nights. But as you can see, it's still windy. So we were trying to make some tea. It kept blowing our fire out. So we're gonna have to set up the dinner spot on the other side of the car. <laughs> yeah, but we're still gonna get a thumbnail from this side, which yep. you've already seen, hopefully. That's fine, <laughs> it looks nice, right? Now we actually have a genius plan because we really want iced tea. <laughs> so we're just gonna pour a little bit of hot water in here, let it steep, and then we're gonna pour cold water in it and then ice. If you guys can't tell, we really enjoy our iced beverages. But yeah, we also, do. we're in the desert, so can you blame us? It's like 28 degrees out here. Tea is all steep, so we're adding a little bit of a cold water to it. And we got some ice back here in the cooler still. Whoop, that's probably too much. Oop in there oh lord oh that's perfect amount all right oh that's gonna be good thank Voila. you iced tea this is awesome i did not think i would be having iced tea today or iced coffee and i had both i'm a happy gal cheers cheers to camping in oman and the sand dunes near the ocean yeah it's pretty amazing <laughs> we're just sitting here we're gonna chill we're gonna enjoy our tea it's not the strongest but it's pretty good <laughs> considering we're just gonna enjoy the moment and then we're gonna cook because it's kind of a lot of work. We have this propane burner 
and then we have one little table but we have to chop up all the vegetables on and everything so it's a bit of work so we're gonna take a little breather and then yeah. get into it yeah it's gonna be fine but we're waiting for the sun to go down just a little bit so it's not quite so toasty We are going to be making shakshuka tonight. It has become our new favorite dish. If you don't know what it is, I guess we'll show you later, but if you want to see a real one, look it up. Also, if you want to look really cool, tie up your hair scarf. <laughs> it's actually, my or my hair's just been in my face, but we're trying to go take a photo, so I'm trying to keep it down and out of my face before it. <laughs> yeah, so the sun is going down. We've got these beautiful dunes here. So we're gonna do a little uh, photo mission, see if we can get some cool shots. Just like that, just like that. The sun has set. It's turning out, I don't know why I have my sunglasses on, so. <laughs> but it's turning out to be a very nice evening. It's got a nice cool breeze. We've repositioned, so we're blocking all the wind. We have our shakshuka cooking up. We're actually doing like a simplified version because we don't have all the ingredients out yeah. here, but peppers and tomato, basically. Yeah, we forgot garlic, but we've got like a little seasoning packet. So I think between all the mixtures, we're gonna get enough garlic in there. So the final step will be to add eggs to this dish, but I wanna make sure we seasoned it correctly because we just really guessed with everything. That's pretty good. Who knew? You just stew down tomatoes with peppers or whatever you have and seasoning, it makes shakshuka. Yeah, it's done. genius. All right, let's put some eggs in here. All right. We've got a bunch of fresh eggs right here. Full disclosure, we had a lot more and we went off-roading and a bunch of them broke. But we have enough for dinner. So you okay. have to basically make a hole yep. and then break it into the hole. All right. There's my hole. hole. Egg in the Boom. hole. Nice job. Boom. Now we do that three more times and we got shakshuka. Shakshuka. We call this off-road shakshuka because off it's not shakshuka. quite classic. <laughs> yeah. Y'all, we got everything out here, including the kitchen sink. Check this out. <laughs> if you pump this, and then you got a little sprayer. So we can shower with it, we can wash the egg off our hands with it. <laughs> you it's got coming. a little egg on your face, too. No, I don't. Oh, man. Dad joke. <laughs> and I'm not even a dad. Oh, uh, good. <laughs> Yet. Our shack. Our <laughs> Redo. <laughs> Our shakshuka is all done. It is beautiful, it smells so good. You can add whatever you want to this. You can put cheese in there, you can put more veggies, less veggies, no eggs, you can add meat. I'm just stalling because I think it's gonna be really hot. Mm. Oh yeah, it's a bit salty, but I put a lot of fresh black pepper in there as well, so it's got a little bit of heat. The egg is cooked really well, so it's a little bit runny in some parts and a little bit like hard boiled. With uh, the creaminess of the egg and the creaminess of the tomatoes, it's just delightful. We don't really want to eat up top because we feel like it's just easier to eat in here. Yeah, but it's so windy and there's just, if we sit outside, I think we're just going to get sand yeah. everywhere. So this is our uh, dining room. Yeah. We have our bread here. Mm -hmm. We've got our food, our Netflix. Yeah. We're going to watch some Narcos. It's a little movie theater in yeah. here. <laughs> and then we have our snack afterwards. Oh, oh yeah. God. But we are going to devour this, watch our stories, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. <laughs> you all right? It's a little yeah. awkward getting out of it. <laughs> I didn't fall, though. What a night. We oh. actually slept really well. I thought the sound of the ocean, it was so loud and consistent, I thought it would annoy me, but it actually lulled me right to sleep. Yeah, and there was a nice breeze, and it got actually a bit chilly last night, which was fantastic. So you guys have now seen us do the wild camping a couple times, and well, not exactly roughing it, we don't really get showers or cleaned up or anything like that. So today we are switching in, no, <laughs> I don't know what that meant. Uh, <laughs> to 
today we are changing things up and we are actually going to a luxury campsite. Luxury so, desert camp. So I think equally as popular as the, the wild camping are the luxury desert camps or the desert camps in general. So we're gonna go see if they're worth it. But first, as you can tell, we desperately need coffee. Yes. So we're not really awake yet. <laughs> let's uh let's get coffee. Do it. We officially have what I'm gonna call an iced latte. An iced right. latte. Off-road iced latte. If there's one thing we hope you learn from us in all of our travels is how to make an iced latte anywhere in the world. Yeah, and maybe not the tastiest <laughs> one, but considering we're in the middle of the dunes, this is pretty good. I think I said that about the tea and the coffee. I've said that about everything. <laughs> Nothing's been great, but it's been okay. Yeah. Now we're gonna make a feast for breakfast mm -hmm. before we head out for the day. That's heading out for the day. We're basically cooking all of the vegetables we had left that we haven't had a chance to cook yet. So our plan is to save half of this for the road for our drive and the other half we'll mix with eggs and have our little beanie weenies for breakfast. All right. I'm calling this Eric's Off-Road Fry Up. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, uh, yeah, great. Had one avocado that we thought was going bad. It turns out it is very good. So we salt and peppered that bad boy, put some beans on there, some eggs, and then added the kale. And this is just that fry up that we were doing earlier. Ooh -wee. We're actually completely blown away by how delicious this looks. This is something we would make in the kitchen at home, if we had a home. <laughs> we're going to eat all this and then we're going to hit the road because we have a long drive to the desert camp we're gonna be staying at tonight. So we have to move pretty quickly from here on out. So, bye bye. we are back on the road you guys and we actually took a different way <laughs> to get back to the main road and we're kind of in the middle of nowhere on a tiny little sand track but I think it'll be okay yeah I see power lines over there so we're just kind of driving in that direction but I think that's gonna do it for this video hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us doing a little wild camping mm -hmm. we had a blast we're in Oman for like another week or so mm -hmm. and we're gonna be over it by then but we have not had our <laughs> fill yet I'm loving all this off-road driving and just being able to go wherever you want and set up camp it's amazing yeah it's been so much fun but we are definitely excited to go to this luxury campsite get a shower a nice bed Nice Maybe, meal. Yeah, oh, yeah, not fighting the wind tonight, hopefully. Yep. <laughs> Good night, adventurers, or goodbye, goodbye, adventurers. Good morning. We'll see you on the road, the off road. <laughs>